today we are gonna be installing go for it I don't know the words RC yellow lowering springs wow <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be taking out these stock uh, springs and strut we're gonna be compressing them and everything and we're gonna be installing these right here I'm not gonna show you all four tires I'm gonna show you how to do uh, the front and then I'll show you guys how to do the, the back as well because uh, it's obviously different the, the setup in the front is different than the setup in the back so I'll just show you guys how to do that for now we just gotta remove these two bolts here on the um, front that we're starting with so we're gonna hit this piece out and then we're gonna go to the top here and we're gonna move these three nuts and the entire thing should and the way we're gonna do it is that we're gonna pull it down and out towards us and then wiggle it wiggle its way out of the uh, what do you call this area the wheel well I don't know so we just removed the brake line right now next up we gotta remove uh, this bolt yeah, that bolt there, and then the other bolt, and then we could take out the strut, right? And then we could unscrew the top, and then the bolt. Yeah, but we have to we have to first hammer it out, because then uh, it's gonna, we're gonna get stuck after. We just gotta knock these out, and the entire thing should fall down. But uh, what what we suggest is that you uh, you take a jack and you hold up the. Uh, I don't know. As, he, as someone's taking off the bolts at the top, someone's gonna be in the wheel well oh, holding. It's gonna fall. Yeah, holding the oh, strut. Like, I don't know how heavy this is. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Alright, so what we gotta do next is we got to um, compress these springs, which is the hardest part. No. no, what do you mean no? Are you crazy? Oh, okay, you got legit uh, spring compressors, that's good. I don't know how they work. <laughs> so the way these spring compressors work is that you gotta put them in on whatever side. You gotta put both on, on both sides. Uh, and then you gotta put these locking pins down so that um, you know for sure it stays and it doesn't uh, you have to screw it in or escape. You have to tighten it. Yeah, hold on. So uh, we ran into a little bit of a problem. We forgot that there's like a nut at the top of um, at the top of the strut that it spins. That you have to put an Allen key along with like the nut. Uh, sorry. You have to put the bolt on the nut on the with, with an Allen key, and uh, if you don't have that, the special tool it just spins. So we're trying to figure out a way to do it without getting that tool.
No, he said the guy, the video says just go like this until it stops. Well, yeah, you gotta match it up with the volume. Come on, higher, higher. Yeah, keep going, keep going, no, no, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, there. So now we finished putting one uh, strut assembly back together. We're gonna put it back into the car the inverse way of how we took it out. So first we're gonna put it back in, make sure everything aligns up. We're gonna bolt up the three bolts up to on the top, then uh, the two bolts at the bottom, then the then the uh, then the uh, the brake the brake line. We're gonna put back everything back together, and we should be done with that. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to. The back. We finally just did the front two sides, and I'll sh we'll show you exactly what it is. This is what it looks like now. So basically, overall, the car dropped an inch and a quarter. It was originally four, four seventy-five, four point seventy-five inches, and now it's down to three fifty. So there is a significant drop. So let's let's say uh, this is the rear. This is the rear. There's about three fingers. I know, but I know, but still, there's three fingers. Shut up. In the rear, there's three fingers. In the front, I could barely put two. Like it's one and a half fingers. Just to give you an idea of how much it got lowered. Now we're gonna start in the back. We're gonna just start taking out all the fender liner in the back uh, to get to to get to give us access to the. Um, the bolts in the back. So for this, we're gonna use a pry tool. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I don't know why. Friends. Hey Amanda, you look beautiful, by the way. Let's see your face. You look. You look hot, baby. Bye. So if we're in the trunk, the the uh, I guess you call these bolts. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, you you gotta take them out. That they're gonna be located on the side here. On the side here, um, there's gonna be one in the back here and one at the top here. You just need you just need enough space. You have to get to the screw that's right here, in there. Hey, um, the destroy my car. Yeah. That's what my dad would say. Miss. So after lift, uh, taking out the bolt that's behind the uh, fender line over there, where that hole is, um, there are two bolts to take out by the way. And then you come in here and when you're in here, under the, under the car in the wheel well, you're going to want to remove this uh, right here. There's going to be a screw here, you're going to want to remove, you're going to want to remove You also want to remove the strut that was here, uh, but we already took it out. And uh, for these, you're gonna need 17 and uh, 14 millimeter bolts. And now we're putting the the uh, the uh, new one back in the car. And uh, to put this back, it's gonna be the same process. We're just gonna first we're first gonna line it up with uh, the top put the two screws in, make sure it stays, then line it up with the bottom, but then and then screw everything back in uh, the opposite way that we took them out.
Alright guys, so today we installed RCE yellow lowering springs on Jolando's 2017 WRX and uh, there was a noticeable difference of about one and a half inches so um, yeah, the, there's the possibility of scraping everywhere he goes now but the car looks really cool. I, I, it's night time so I don't have time to uh, show you guys like a day pick or do a, like a really nice montage but uh, in the next video of his car I'll be sure to do that. Uh, but yeah, guys comment, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Until next time guys, peace.